What is up, universe? Welcome back to the Ice Cave. I'm your host, Iceman here. Before we get into this video, make sure to smash that like button with your ice pick. Follow and share. Well, let's get into the video. Confrontation at the school. As Leonidas was walking to the principal's office, he saw Lilith, so he called her over and asked her what happened. Lily said, it's not my fault. Chad was bullying us and he pushed Joshua off the jungle gym and called Monique a beaner. So I did what you told me to do. You told me to stand up for myself and others, to not let anyone bully me around. So I kicked him in his balls, called him a bully, and told him, that's what you get, dummy. Leonidas said, I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself and your friends, but you should have kicked boys in the balls. We will have to talk with the principal. So Leo and Lily walked together, holding hands, into the office. The front office lady told them to wait in the front of the principal's office, and he will call them in when he is ready. They waited what seemed like hours. It was only 15 minutes when the door opened and the principal called them in. Leo and Lily were both very anxious because they knew they were going to have a serious talk. Leo knew he had to defend his daughter and was ready for war. Lilith, on the other hand, trusted her father and knew he had her back. As Leo walked into the room, he saw a man standing 6'7". Looks like a giant farm boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. His name was Bob Johnson. In the room was a desk and a computer, but the room was filled with pictures of Mr. Johnson playing basketball in college and his degree, and also some school pictures that he worked at. Mr. Johnson asked them both to sit. He began by asking Lilith to tell her story. He said he also heard the story from Miss Stone, but wanted to hear her side of the story, because he knew there was always two sides to every story. So Lily began to tell her story. As she described what was happening, Mr. Johnson cut her off and said, This story sounds completely different from Miss Stone. Can you tell me why her story doesn't match yours? That's when Leo butted in and said, Miss Stone is an arrogant person, and just because you see something doesn't mean you know what's going on before him. Luckily, Mr. Johnson is a giant softie and said, I believe I'm going to have to talk to Chad and Miss Stone about the incident, but your daughter did kick him in the balls and she did admit it, so she's going to have to be suspended for three days because Chad did nothing to the look. Leo said fair enough, but I believe Chad should get in trouble too. Mr. Johnson reassured Leo that they would have a good talk with both parties and get to the bottom of this. So Lily and Leo went out of the principal's office and walked towards the car. The end. Well, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button with your ice pick. Subscribe, share, and follow. Well, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!